Hello, Randall Monk here and Ron of Zane from Reno, Reno Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny Reno, Nevada. Yes, and uh, today, of course, uh, th this is information I wanted to ask Ron about uh, to share with everyone here. Many times Michael tells us to, uh, to encourages us to walk the middle path and the middle path of peace and harmony and by doing so we move beyond the laws of karma into a state of grace. So Rana, would you please explain what you know what that is or what that means the middle path? Uh, first of all, this universe is uh, one of the over um, lighting themes was duality and uh, especially as it came down and refined more and more or expanded more and more, I guess not refined, but got bigger and bigger, then our universe, would, uh, our subdimension was made. Um, so this, this um, duality and polarity with free will, and that's, that's the overlay or the more or less the divine blueprint for this subuniverse. And so therefore, um, the light and dark, the good and bad, the negative, or what you might say, the, the shadow and so on, uh, female, male, the negative like uh, energy, positive and negative, uh, hot and cold, all of those aspects of duality. And so we, he calls it a spectrum of light. There was a, a divine blueprint that within, that was the path we were to follow. And it, there was a, it, they gave us choices for the free will and so there was the light and shadow. And you've heard me talk about Lucifer holding the shadow and Archangel Michael holding the light. And so the thing was, there were choices within there, but it was mostly good, better, or better choices. And some of them weren't good, and, and, but we won't really say negative, they just weren't as effective. But as we sank into the density, and there was a big story there, like you said, it wasn't your fault. They had to let it play out. They had to let it play out to this lake, to where we are now. And as it sank, it was not supposed to come down any lower than the mid-fourth dimension. And so when we got down there, that, that here's this spectrum of light and shadow where it's supposed to be. And he talks about this cross of matter. So here's the light, and then here is the shadow or the negativity. And the light is just, you know, like say it said within its regular spectrum, but the negativity got way out here. So it became very unwieldy. And so actually what we're doing is as we balance and harmonize ourselves, we're bringing all of that back into this pathway of accepted light and shadow. And the principle is, is that we no longer can do harm. We can make mistakes and we, it cannot be right, and it can. We're learning. You have to perfect things, and so that's not bad. But we can do harm to our, not to ourselves or to anyone else. And so, walking the middle path just means getting back to that approved spectrum of light and shadow, making the good, better, and best choices, which does no harm. Might take longer, might not be as effective, but as long as you're not doing any harm. It's as long as you're learning and you're moving forward with the right intent, with non-judgment, with love, with, with peace and harmony, or balanced frequencies, we say, that's the middle path. And that's the path that will take you into the magic areas. And we more and more, we talk about the holograms of tapping into the higher levels, beginning began to get the new divine blueprint. That's what's happening now. We've talked about it before. The Piscean divine blueprint is shut down. Therefore, they are not radiating that anymore. So the people that have not been able to tap into the Aquarian divine blueprint, they feel lost. They're like in a ship without a rudder. I've told you this before. They don't know what to do. Nothing is working. They're fearful. They feel lost, afraid. Do you see what the tools give us and do for us. This is the most grand opportunity of this, of all of this great experiment. So take advantage, do your best, and let your heart be your monitor. If you begin to get that dread of you think, uh-oh, I shouldn't do that, go ahead and do that, uh-uh-uh, <laughs> you're gonna be sorry. So that's the middle path. 
walk the metal path with us. That's where the miracles, the beauty, all the wonders of creation are there waiting for us. We know you can do it. We're here rooting for you. I love you. Thank you, Rana. Yes, Rana said that we cannot do harm. Well, we cannot do harm if we want to walk that middle path, if we want to live in peace and harmony, and if we want to move beyond the law of karma and into a state of grace or in a state of grace. Much love and many blessings. We love you. Hang in there, everybody. We shall prevail. Bye for okay. now. And give it a thumbs up and <laughs> subscribe and share if you like. We love you. Bye stay now. Well and stay well. Stay well, okay? Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>